Hi, this is Brian from People's Plastic Revolution. Today we're going to go over our intentions and why we do what we do. People's Plastic Revolution, why we exist and what we intend to do about it. Our vision is to see single-use plastic stop, the ocean patch garbage go away, and landfills stop being used, and plastic being recycled 100%. I know this is a big revision, however, it's quite easy to obtain with the systems that we have. Our mission is to focus on recycled plastic, not providing returns for our shareholders, but to educate people to understand the issues and the solutions of plastic waste. Also to educate retailers, manufacturing organizations on the best way to use plastic and how that can be recycled. Educate local and national governments in practical solutions of waste mountains. This is our why. As you can see here, the ocean and the world is full of plastic. How did we get into this position? Well, since about the 1950s, 83 billion tons of plastic have been produced. It's estimated that 20% is still in use or has been recycled, which leaves about 6.6 .6 billion tons of waste either in landfills or rivers or the oceans or somewhere in between. And the problem is getting worse every year. So who's responsible for the recycling the plastic waste? This is quite funny because it always goes to this old story. Everybody, somebody, anybody, nobody. And the story goes like this. There was an important job to be done and everybody was sure that somebody would do it. Anybody could have done it, but no one did it. Somebody got angry about that because it was everybody's job and everybody thought anybody could do it, but nobody realized that everybody wouldn't do it. And it ended up that everybody blamed somebody when nobody did what anybody could have done. So we are all, in essence, everybody, somebody, anybody, and nobody. Is there anything we can do about it? Yes, there is. Plastic need not be the issue that it is. We can start the changing the tide by producing plastic that is easily recycled. Stop mixing plastic with other materials such as paper. Stop sending waste plastic to landfill sites. Stop exporting plastic to third world countries. And then start focusing on solutions to solve the plastic issues and reusing that plastic for what it is. Plastic waste can be recycled. However, most plastic is not recycled. Many of the plastic that's recycled today is PET-1, HDPE-2, and other types of plastic such as low-density plastic are very hard to uh, recycle or there's no value in recycling. Acrylics, fiberglass, nylons, and other plastic polymers are very, very difficult to recycle and they are usually just tossed or burned. Plastic to energy. At the moment, very little plastic has value. Plastic has value that is purchased and recycled. This can be valued such as other waste plastic to start and evolve a new business. To do so, we need to produce an output that will have a greater value than the input plus the processing cost. This will make a sustainable business. Plastic that has a value can be recycled and is recycled. PET, HEPD, people recycle, it gets chopped up and gets reused. However, it only can be reused a few times and many factories only want to use virgin plastic. This process is reliant on the price of oil. However, if the price of oil drops below $70 a barrel, it's not economical to recycle plastic since it is cheaper to just produce more plastic from crude oil. Currently, with the pandemic and the COVID situation, barrels of oil cost around $50. In the next two to three years, it should increase, but in that time, many recyclers are going to be having hard times and not producing the amount of money that they need to sustain their business, which means more plastic will get wasted. There are solutions. You can use paralysis, gasification. Uh, paralysis, which is the systems that we're focusing on, has been around for about two to three, five thousand years, and it was what it usually how we created oil and carbon and plastic to begin with. Plastic waste energy solutions are gasification and paralysis. Gasification is using syngas to then create oil, hydrogen, ethanol, methane, carbon, and electrics. 
Pyrolysis produces an oil, which then can be transported because you can move oil. It's harder to move electricity. What are the issues that we will solve? Landfills can't cope with the waste that we're generating. Over 3.2 billion tons of CO2 is released every year. There are estimated 100 tons of plastic waste enters our sea daily. They say that 0.5% of the plastic you see on the beach represents 95% that's in the ocean. Some plastic will take 10,000 to 1,000 years to break down, and plastic waste that breaks down breaks down into microplastic, which then gets fed and eaten into our food source, so we are then technically eating plastic from anything that we eat out of the ocean. And there are currently five garbage patches in our ocean that contains hundreds of thousands of tons of plastic waste. Our marketing message is simple. There are many stakeholders and shareholders in the plastic waste ecosystem. Each one has a different reaction to our message. We are targeting people, media, companies, packaging, local government, national government, international organizations, and the human race. Each audience has a different focus, but they all need to wake up to the plastic crisis before it's too late. The message to the people. How can you help? What are the problems? Is there a solution? How do you join PPR? How do you donate to organizations such as us? There are many different ways that people can get involved to turn the tide of this plastic waste. Message to the media. Address your customer's concern. Show you really understand the issues and have an action plan. Reduce your plastic waste. Reduce your plastic usage. Have collection centers. Donation to, uh, to solutions and organizations that help solve this problem. And to support you know, plastic revolutions. Manufacturers. Understand your issues. Understand what plastic you use. Have a zero plastic waste policy. Do not mix plastics with other materials. Support organizations and companies like us to help you help the planet. To producers, show you understand the issue. Produce plastic that's not mixed that can be recycled. Local governments. Support initiatives. Have a department that focuses on plastic waste. Ensure that the public needs this information. Provide plastic waste plans. Provide a platform for people to discuss about this and also provide an ease of access into the industry to solve this pollution problem. National government. Define what needs to get done. Help produce an economy that is sustainable that will allow plastic to be introduced and reused into the environment. Organizations that are international, coordinate with the best practice of national governments. Educate all of your nations and your people. Work with the first world and help the third world nation rid themselves of plastic mountains. But don't just walk away. We need action. Is that you? Is that me? Is that the world? People who take action usually do something. People who don't, nothing will change. Remember that we only have one planet, and to save this planet, we need to take action to solve the plastic pollution, and to make sure that that plastic pollution has value, and then that value can then in turn help the economies, which will help rid the plastic. Humanity can disappear at any time, and the planet will survive. It's shown this over and over and over. However, we don't want that to happen because of our mistrust and our misfortune of using plastic. The time is now to act and to help remove the plastic from the world. Thank you for watching this presentation, and we ask you to visit our website at peoplesplasticrevolution.com and join us. Feel free to call us and talk to us and see how you can help change the world and make plastic a value instead of a garbage. Thank you so much. Have a great day.